We're making this video over here today because of a suggestion I got in my comment section. The comment that I received asked me to make a video on the Ottawa Senators and what they could have done with their fourth overall pick that got sent over to the Colorado Avalanche. However, I'm not going to link the actual comment here because the comment in question asked me to make a video about Kale McCarr and the Senators, but if you're paying attention to the drafts and the draft lotteries and the years, that's actually incorrect. It's not Kale McCarr in 2017 that could have gone over to the Ottawa Senators with the fourth overall pick. It was actually the fourth overall pick in 2019, two years later. So, today we're taking a look at the Ottawa Senators and their 2018-19 season, which was bad. And it was so bad that the best first overall odds belonged to the Ottawa Senators last year. However, because of a very weird three-way trade that occurred two years beforehand, the Ottawa Senators didn't actually have their first round pick, and as a result, it went over to Colorado. Colorado selected Bowen Byram. Now, this what-if all stems from a few factors. First off, it goes over the idea of what if Bowen Byram was on the Senators, and as a result, it would domino effect into a discussion on what if the Matt Duchesne trade was never actually made. So, if we go by chronological order here, let's go take a time machine back to November 5th, 2017, where Matt Duchesne was traded by the Colorado Avalanche to the Ottawa Senators in a three-way trade involving Andrew Hammond, Shane Bowers, draft pick Samuel Gerard, Vladislav Kamenev, and Kyle Turris. Because we're focusing on the Ottawa Senators here, let's go over what they were able to do in this trade. Taking a look at just Ottawa, they received Matt Duchesne in exchange for Kyle Turris, Shane Bowers, Andrew Hammond, and some draft picks. Those draft picks involved their 2019 first round pick. It was actually conditional, because the Ottawa Senators had the option of giving the Colorado Avalanche their 2018 first round pick instead, had that 2018 pick been inside the top 10, which it was. They used that pick to select Brady Kachuk, and they bet on themselves being better for 2018-19, so that their 2019 pick would be a much less valuable pick than what they had in 2018. I remember this decision-making process very clearly, and it was a very established idea amongst NHL analysts that the Senators would try their hardest to be good in 2018-19 so that they could prove to everybody that their decision to keep the 2018 pick was the right one. However, with the way things went, with Brady Kachuk making the NHL right away and the Senators still being bad, they ended up not really gaining too much, and as a result, Bowen Byram was selected by the Colorado Avalanche fourth overall using that Senators pick. We could take this one of two ways. Either we could say, okay, what if the Senators decided to choose the other pick and give Colorado Brady Kachuk instead of giving them the 2019 pick? Or we could just say altogether, what if the Senators decided to not do the Duchesne trade? Well, that's the route I like a little bit more, so let's go over that one. Honestly, I think in hindsight, the Matt Duchesne trade was an overall loss for the Senators. Just taking a look at how things are still being played out today, Matt Duchesne was a guy who came over to Ottawa, and he was okay, but the Senators as a result weren't really all too great either. They still finished in a position where they were able to draft fourth overall in the 2018 draft, and that was after the Duchesne trade, a trade that many people saw as a trade that would help make their team better. Fast forward a year later, Duchesne is on an expiring deal, and the Senators trade Duchesne to Columbus in exchange for their first round pick in 2019, which they ended up using to select Lassie Thompson, who was a good defensive prospect, don't get me wrong, but... Bowen Byram is just better. Now look, I get it, they wanted to swap centers because Kyle Turris' contract was expiring, and we all know about the Senators' management's thoughts when it comes to paying their star players. But, 
With hindsight in the mix, it doesn't matter if you wouldn't have been able to keep Kyle Turris for 2018-19 after his contract expired. The Senators were still terrible. They were still one of the worst teams in the league, and they still had some of the worst draft lottery odds two years in a row pretty much, with 2018-2019's odds being the absolute worst period. And that's even on a team that had Matt Duchesne for the majority of the year, that had Ryan Dezingle for the majority of the year. With hindsight involved, you don't do the Duchesne tourist trade. You keep the first round picks, you get Brady Kachuk in 2018, and you get Bowen Byram in 2019. Sure, you don't get Lassie Thompson, but that's okay. I think getting Bowen Byram in exchange for that is a pretty good compensation. It's actually kind of in my archives here as video topic ideas in the future, talking about the Ottawa Senators' defensive prospects and their defensive U23 core. Just looking at the guys like Jacob Bernard Docker and Eric Brandstrom, not to mention Thomas Shabbat who is already on the team, and underrated guys in Europe who are a little bit older but who are still somewhat valuable, like Oli Alsing and Artyom Zub. I know those guys aren't U23, but you get the idea. There are some really good defensive young guys in the system in Ottawa. And if you added a Bowen Byram to that mix, then, oh boy, all of a sudden your third pair has either Bowen Byram or Eric Brandstrom on it. Unless you want to move one of these left-handed guys to the right side, you have a really stacked left side of Shabbat, Byram, Bronstrom, and then on the right you have Bernard Docker, etc. All the other guys, it doesn't really matter who else you have there. If you want to build your team on the youth, like how Eugene Melnick has said they kind of wanted to do in the past, then a Bowen Byram would be one of the best ads that you could have thought of to put onto that squad. There's a reason why Colorado Avalanche fans, and myself included, even though I don't really say I'm an Abs fan, are drooling over the idea of a Makar Byram pairing. The left handed number 1D and the right handed number 1D sharing the blue line together because pairings like that can win championships. Now, I may be hyperbolizing it a little bit too much here, but at the same time, Bowen Byram is someone who many people would agree is one of, if not the best NHL-affiliated prospects in the system today. So, Ottawa, man. Darn, it sucks that they made a Kyle Turris, Matt Duchesne trade that, in the long run, didn't really help them out at all. They didn't win games with Duchesne, they didn't win games in the next year that they had Duchesne, and they ended up trading him for a pick that they used to get Lassie Thompson in a draft where their own first round pick was so much earlier to get Bowen Byram. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. Now I know Lassie Thompson is going to be a nice asset here too. I'm a fan of Lassie Thompson, I saw him play for the Kelowna Rockets and he was pretty good, which is why I made a Why I Want video on him a year ago, but at the same time, even the Senators taking Lassie Thompson where they did in the top 20 of the 2019 draft, that was somewhat of a shock to me if I'm going to be honest here, because Lassie Thompson was a guy who wasn't really projected to go that high. Sure, I was a fan of him and I thought that he was good, but I didn't really see him going at 19. Does he have NHL potential? Yes, I think he does, but at the same time, Bowen Byram's still so much better. And I don't think there's going to be a way for Lassie Thompson to shake off that potential of what could have been unless he does actually make the league and become good. So there will always be that idea in the back of my head at least, taking a look at Lassie Thompson and saying, yeah, if the Senators don't make the Duchesne trade in 2017, then they don't have Thompson, they have Byram instead. And that's just the hindsight of it. They trade for Duchesne, they trade Duchesne for a first later, and that first becomes Lassie Thompson, but their own first is so much better. So I don't want to be a super downer there for Sens fans who are watching this video, but at the same time, man, hindsight is 2020, and there's a reason why you have to be so confident in yourself and so certain when you're making trades like these that are almost just shots in the dark.
Sure, Matt Duchesne was a part of that Columbus squad that swept the Lightning, and that's something that we'll have as a very fond memory as hockey fans, but at the end of the day, Bowen Byram is Bowen Byram, and that's something that the Senators just missed out on because they went a little bit too far with their 2017 playoff hopes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you think about Bowen Byram, the Sens, and their prospects, and... Bye.